In this video, we're going to be starting up the PowerFlex 755 drive using the HIM. Please note that the 755 and the 753 series can be started up in similar manners. Once the drive is powered up and you see the display shown, press the folder key here using the right arrow key or the number six, scroll to the right until we reach startup. At this point, we're going to do begin startup. We press the five or the enter key. This will begin the startup process for the PowerFlex drive. At this point, you press enter. We're going to go through a series of steps at this point, one at a time. So at this point, we'll hit enter. And we're going to enter the control data for the motor. We press enter again. This is the section of the motor control for the drive we'll use. The mode that we're going to be using today will be senseless vector. If the other mode is desired to be changed, use your arrow keys or the two or the eight to go down or go back up. We're going to use senseless vector, so press enter. Next, we're going to enter the motor data type. Press enter again. This data is going to be found on the nameplate of the motor as shown. Our motor is going to be 230 volts AC. Press enter. The power units we're going to use is horsepower. Press enter. The motor power is going to be 0.33 horsepower. It's the third horsepower. If it needs to be changed, example, if it was a 0.5 horsepower, you just hit point here and five. But at this point, we're going to use, we'll go back and we're going to use 0.33 horsepower and press the enter key. Our nameplate amps for 230 volts is going to be 1.6 amps. Our motor frequency for the nameplate will be 60 hertz. Press enter. The nameplate RPM will be 1725 RPM. And then you press enter. The overload factor for this motor, we're going to use a value of one. Press enter. And the motor poles will be four for this motor. And press enter. We're going to keep the speed units as RPM. You can use Hertz or RPM. But for this application, we're going to use RPM. Press enter. The next step will be setting up feedback. Press enter. Since there is no card present within the drive, we'll be using the drive itself as open loop feedback. If you do have an encoder card, it will show up at this point to be configured. Press enter. The next thing we're going to set up is the limits. We'll press enter to enter that menu. For this application, we're going to use a max speed of 1740 and a max reverse speed of 1740. Please note the minus sign in front of the 1740. Press enter. The min speed forward is going to be zero RPM. The min reverse speed will also be zero RPM. Press enter. The next function we're going to do is perform tests on the motor. The first one will be a direction test to verify the direction of the motor. Press enter. We'll press start on the hem to begin. As you can see, the motor is rotating in a clockwise rotation. At this point, well, is it correct? Yes or no? For this application, it is correct. So we'll hit enter. And we will push stop to stop the motor. The next function we'll be performing is the auto tune. So we press enter. The two tunes that we're going to use is rotate or static. We'll press enter here. At this point, we'll select a rotate tune or a static tune. Please note that a rotate tune, the motor must be uncoupled from the load. A static tune can be formed with the motor uncoupled or coupled to a load. For this application, we're going to perform a rotate tune. We'll press enter. As you can see, we press start on the hem to begin the auto tune. The test is in progress. At this point, using a rotate tune, you'll see the motor to start to rotate. Once the test is complete, the motor will stop. And the test is complete. Completed successfully. Press enter. Once the auto tune is complete, you select done and press enter. The next thing we'll set up is the reference ramp stop. Press enter. For direction mode, we're going to use unipolar. 
If a change is required, use the arrow keys as shown. But for this application, we're going to use unipolar. Press enter. For the speed reference, we're going to select analog input. That can be 0 to 10 volts or 4 to 20 milliamps. Press enter. The speed reference we're going to be using is port 4, I.O. module. Use the arrows to select. Press enter. And we're going to be using the analog zero value. Press enter. The high for the analog input is going to be a 0 to 10 volt DC input. The high will be 10 volts. And the analog input low will be 0 volts. This can be scaled accordingly to your application. So the speed reference analog high is going to be 1740. And the speed reference analog low will be 0 RPM. Press enter. The next thing we're going to do is select the stop mode. For this application, we're set at ramp. If changes need to be implemented, press the arrow key down to coast, and there's several options there, depending on your application. For this application, we'll use ramp. Press enter. For the bus regulator mode, we're going to keep it at adjust frequency one. Press enter. The Excel time is set for three seconds. We can change that, we can enter five. The decimal point here, and zero. Press enter for five seconds. The decel time will make it the same. We'll press five, the decimal point, and then zero. Press enter. At this point, it asks you, do you want to add an S-curve? If you're dealing with applications with conveyors, you may want to add a percentage of S-curve. For this application, we will not, so we'll keep it at no and press enter. The next thing we'll configure is the I.O. We'll press enter. We'll configure the start and stop direction. Press enter. Again, press enter again for the inputs. The question here is, do you want to use a digital input to start the device? And for this application, we will. So we just arrow down to yes. Press enter. Is a reverse required for this digital input? At this point, we'll press no. Press enter. We'll enter the choice for the control. It's either a three wire or a two wire. For our application, we'll use a three wire. Press enter. At this point, we'll select what digital input we will be using. Since we have an I.O. card in port four, we'll scroll down to the I.O. module there. At this point, we'll use the digital in status. Press enter. And we'll use digital input one to start. For the stop, we'll scroll down to the I.O. module again, press enter. We'll scroll down to the digital status, press enter, and we will use input zero. Once the start and stop and direction has been configured, if you have any other digital inputs, outputs, or analog inputs and outputs, they are configured at this point. For this application, we're gonna scroll down to done, press enter. It's going to select done and we're going to press enter again. At this point, the startup is complete and we'll exit the startup. Press enter. Once the startup is complete, we escape. You'll see the main screen here. We will press digital input one, which was our start. At this point, you can adjust the potentiometer, which is connected to our analog input zero to 10 volts. We can control the motor to faster speeds. or slow speeds. At this point, you can press stop. You have now completed the startup wizard for a PowerFlex 7055 using the HIM. If you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE VFD specialist.